what's going on guys it's Crowlander here and welcome to another one of my Clash of Clans videos <laughs> okay guys so a new scenery is upon us it is the snow day scenery I'm going to be uh, reviewing this scenery shortly um, like I've reviewed all of them they seem to do pretty well on my channel but before I get started make sure to smash that like button to help with the algorithm and also don't forget to subscribe we are less than 200 subscribers away from 10,000 now that is insane who would ever thought when you started a channel that you'd get to 10,000 it's crazy. I want to thank everyone who's subscribed so far. I mad love you all because, as you know, I always say mad love. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks to all of you guys. But um, we'll get on with the video and let's get, get to this. Okay, so as you can see, guys, <laughs> I'm level 168 now. I'm going to be like level 200 before I reach um, Town Hall 13. But, yeah, it's, it's going well. As you can see, I've got um, 16 and a half million gold because I've literally been unable to spend it because um, if you check out my current upgrades they're like days away I've got a dark elixir drew and a barbarian king that I've just started um, over five days to go I've also got another dark elixir drill expo and uh, elixir collector because they're so cheap they're only one million to upgrade at the moment and if we check a few of these out you can see they're gold mine 15s now and there's no um, like no more levels so that's awesome and also um, dark elixir drill to level 9 and um, Elixir Collector to level 15. So yeah, we're getting there on the levels. Uh, oh yeah, Clan Games is back. Yeah, before I get started, if you're looking for a clan, come check us out as Crow's Force, level 14 clan, you 2,500 trophies to join and be a Town Hall 9. All right, as you can see, we've got all active members, there's me. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's just a bit of fun, really. We do all the clan war league, clan games, everything. So, yeah, come join us. Come join us. Um, right, let's check out this town hall. Change scenery. As you can see, I've got all of them, apart from jungle scenery, because I have to be a, a town hall 14. I'm full of air today. I'm like a hot air balloon. Um, right, let's check out the snow day. So, let's go ahead and select this. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's more blue than well. It's got like the grid zone. But it's very bright snow. You think it'd be more white, but it's just like dark and bright blue, which probably looks better. To be fair. Well, what the hell is that? That looks like Hogwarts. <laughs> Fans of Harry Potter, shout out. Um, right, so we'll, we'll start in this bottom corner because it, it it looks like there's loads going on there, and I know my beard's growing, but yeah, we'll get around to that a future day. What is that? Okay, there seems to be some sort of Christmas tree on the hills. That's actually a well cool effect. It's like blurred out hillside um, in front of us there. And then it's zoomed, well, with the background, it's more focused. So yeah, that's cool. Right, so if we start here, we'll go around this way this time. You can see uh, a little building, like a house on top of the mountain in the background, which is really cool. And then obviously our boat has skates now and a plow because the water is frozen over. Um, so that's pretty mental. Um, there seems to be some sort of like tents on the actual water, it's, well, frozen ice lake or something or whatever we'll call it. There's actually a pirate ship or an old boat that's actually frozen, um, <coughs> excuse me, frozen and stuck on the lake as well. Um, and then we've got some really high up pier here that's, le there's, for some reason, there's a house on the pier. Um, fire safety guys, come on, the whole pier is made of wood and it seems to be lit up. <laughs> Looks like there's a fireplace in there somewhere. Although there is no chimney, so there's no smoke or nothing, so maybe it is just lighting. Um, they've got like a little boat there on the deck. Um, oh, as, as you can see in the bottom left as well, someone's actually uh, ice fishing. So yeah, very cool. Um, I, kinda, I like how the outside is a different shade of blue. There's like three different shades of blue. So if we work our way up here, you can see another forest again. There's actually a cool mountainside um, with some like, what are they, fire lights or something. Some steps um, leading up to some sort of mansion house that looks pretty big. And then we've got this cool maze that leads out uh, past clan games. And then you've just got to work for a maze. Uh, what is that? Looks like a face. <laughs> it looks like a potato with a face on it. Anyway, moving on. Um, there's some big, big like redwood tree or pine tree there, um, and then we've got some sort of wooden door or wall, which is weird because it just goes straight to mountain again. 
I wonder why that's there. Maybe it's keeping some sort of massive character out of the game. I don't know. But moving along, we see more um, like hillside and mount. Well, not really. You can't really tell the mountains. It's just a cliff edge with some really sharp diamonds um, pointing out. If we keep moving along, keep moving round, the hillside follows it round, and um, yeah, the diamonds do as well. Okay, that is a cool effect. So we get to this point, you see the massive like cavern below and like the abyss. <laughs> and that's so cool. You can just see like the fire radiating up from down below like it's lava or something um, you've got some big house here it's three stories um, with some bridge that's covered in so you'd think they'd clean that snow off because you're just gonna end down in the abyss because you're gonna slip off the edge and in the abyss health and safety guys come on <laughs> um, oh, and the fact that a house is held up by what looks like a floating pillar because if you look there, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And you get to that point and it just stops where the um, diamonds are, which is weird. Um, there's also another bridge further, further up, but there's a piece missing in the middle. So I wouldn't take that route. It's best to take the other route. Um, we've also got some buildings in the back here. And then when you cross over to this bridge, it actually links to another house. Um, where the doorway is seems a bit close to the edge. And then the path's right in the corner. So you literally walk out the door straight into the abyss. It's not it's not a good thing to be drinking out there or something like that, guys. It's just not good at all. Um, oh, there's like an ice giant um, statue out the front here. It's like a tiny bit covered in snow and some nice lamps. There's some steps up to nothing. I, I think there was meant to be a bridge in between those ice giants, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, and then we've got some more diamonds down at the end and whatever these poles are, there's two of those. Guessing there's some sort of statue as well. Then we go to Hogwarts. <laughs> um, there's a big door here, that, well it's actually open with a couple of lamps and some steps. I'm not too sure how you get over there unless you take the long scenic route, jump over from this side, make your way through a load of buildings. Um, yeah, it's like a three, two or three story building, looks really big, it's like a castle with some good um, like gem effects, diamond effects of like spikes around the, the roof basically, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's sad, sadly, you can't go any further over, you can see the front edge, but you can't zoom anymore because that is the edge of the map, guys. Um, and then we make our way down past a load of trees, you can see more of a like cavern again, chasm or whatever they call it. There's a little walkway over to what looks like a, what is that? Hidden Tesla or something. <laughs> Frozen over. Ferno Tower maybe? Oh, if we make our way down, there's actually like a Grand Canyon style village. Um, we've got some steps going down from the top here that lead to a little house. And then if you make, if you make your way through those trees, you can go down some more steps which actually lead down to the village. There's a little wall with Christmas lights. Everyone seems to have decorated their house light, uh, houses with Christmas lights. Um, they look like gingerbread houses. We work our way along. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty protected from the snow, but you wouldn't want an avalanche off the side because then it's basically gone then. Um, and if we make our way to this cliff edge, we're back to the start. There you have it, guys. There's the new scenery. Hope you enjoyed the video. It does look pretty decent actually. I'll have to do a video where I review like all the sceneries together because that would be awesome. Let's just like review them all. How many are actually on here? I know I can't do the one at the end, but I could do classic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sceneries. So I could go through like nine sceneries just to see which is the best. Um, but if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. And also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Discord and Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys.